Hi everyone, and welcome back to more Dragon Quest VII, Fragments of the Forgotten Past. It's been a little bit, so you'll excuse me if I don't exactly remember what's going on. I feel like it's also a little loud. There we go. It's a little better. Um, so, I'm pretty sure last time we started the whole thing with waking up in the village full of people who had been tricked by the monsters who now control All Trades Abbey. So, we did that. We woke up, we didn't have any skills. We're not ready for the real world. And got mixed up with the townsfolk. And there are some people who definitely suck. And one of them is like the former guard captain of the real priestess of All Trades Abbey, who we broke out of super jail. Um, but some people still had their souls taken and are in control of the monster so i'm pretty sure we're about to try and actually break out of this prison area and get back to i don't know if it's the real world or if we've just been thrown somewhere else it's not entirely clear so that is what is happening as far as i know yeah super jail not the not the awful show that was on adult swim Let's see. Yeah. Everybody's about right. Let's see what they want us to do. Everyone seems a lot more cheerful now that the High Priestess is back. Oh, right. So, the High Priestess is back. Um, and... Oh. Weird. There was... The... The sister and her brother, who was one of the ones who got soul mapped, were here, and he was. She was acting real strange, and he wasn't saying anything. But we have not resolved that thread yet. I shall gather together what remains of my personal guard and follow on after you. In the meantime, you must use the key I gave you to enter All Trades Abbey. Okay. Yeah, that's actually that's one of um. That outfit is one of Veronica's outfits in Eleven. This, see, this guy's had his, his soul done got took. Bah, enjoy this while it lasts. You may have won the battle, but you're not going to win the war. I've already informed our monster masters that the High Priestess has escaped. You're not going to get away with this. You have been warned. Yeah, okay. So... Those guys don't actually attack us. They just watch. That guy attacks us. But he didn't get to us that time. Yeah, this lady. This lady and her kid. And then the dude with the feather hat sucks, and the guy with the Dragon Ball Z hair is a two-timing thief guy or something. I don't know. There you are. About time. The key to the high the key the high priestess gave you should open this door. Can I borrow it for a little while? I'll give it back, I promise. No, let me do it. You're right to refuse her. Why would she need the key? Shut up, Eustace. I don't like you either. Who in blazes are you? Speak, damn it. Reveal yourself. Yeah, because she was... There was something that, like, gave her away as an imposter. <laughs> and there I was thinking it would be easy pretending to be a stupid human. You pink lumps are more complicated than you look. Ugh, God, I don't like those things. I knew I couldn't fool you forever, but I didn't think you'd see through my little ruse so soon. Oh well, it makes no difference now. I'll kill you where you stand and take care of your precious High Priestess. Gasp. Not before you tell us what you've done with Nava and the old Chief Priest. Where are they? The girl's alive. As for the old man, well, let me see. Oh yes, I believe I may have eaten him. <laughs> Lanky spams. Oh, hi, Ribby. 
by Rivi. Not so fast, human. You're not going to be fighting me. Are you ready, Zev? Channel all that anger, all that pain. Go on, take it. Take up the Soul Stealer. Blankies. Blankies. Think of the life you had. Just you and your sister. Remember how he ruined it? How he stole it from you? Now it's time to pay him back. Steal his soul in return. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Now he's got the soul-stealing sword. Right, you take care of him, and I'll eat the rest of them for breakfast. <laughs> yeah, she did. Wait, what was this dude's name? Gobbler? Ugh. Not great. Um, what? We have the broadsword now? Right. All of your abilities have been stolen. I guess we attack. Donk. Doink. That broadsword's so big, holy crap. Owie. Tonk. We picked up the Salvation Stone, which is like a really bad Sage Rock. Doink. But it's free healing. It's a slightly worse uh, herb, but it doesn't run out. So. No, my defenses. Seems like something out of. Um, Star Ocean. I like how he's gonna cast Kasap but never physically attack, so it ends up not mattering. Oh, he's out of MP now. Just bop him on the head with that big old long sword. It'll be fine. Owie. Got him. The Gobbler. I'm going to kill you whether you like it or not, Eustace. You'll die, and so will my sister's feelings for you. Come on, Eustace. What are you holding back for? He ain't messing about. Finish him off. Sharpish. It's no good. He's draining my strength. Every time I parry one of his strikes, I can feel the power being stolen from me. Blah! Damnation, my sword! This ends now! Blah! The, the Soul Stealer. <laughs> just, this sword really is summoned up from the wielder's soul. Maybe running you through with it will bring you back. Oh, if this sword were... Lol. Blah! <laughs> just... <laughs> Dong. But blimey, he's only gone and killed him. It, is he really dead? Uh, I'm not so sure we should be hanging out with Eustace, you know. He isn't dead. It's as I said, the sword was made from his soul. By stabbing him with it, I returned it to him. Well, that's easy for you to say, isn't it? He doesn't look too clever to me. Aw, oh, dang. I wanted him to be a child killer. Here, you alright, mate? Does it hurt? How many fingers am I holding up? Squeak, 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 squeak. I'm fine. I'm not hurt. I... Sorry. I wasn't in control of myself. That monster made me do it. Oh, really? And did the monster make you carry on attacking me even after it was dead? I... Well, when you take up the Soul Stealer, it, it fills you with hate and anger. I wasn't in my right mind. That's why I tried to kill you. I don't really want you dead, I promise. Yeah, you know. You have to believe me. <laughs> squeak, squeak, squeak. Never mind, let's just put it behind us. That accursed sword really does seem to drive men mad. Now, beyond that door lies all, 
lies All Trades Abbey. Come, Monarch, we have to hurry. If we find her in time, we may still be able to help save Nava. I was so focused on saving the High Priestess, I never thought that something like this might happen to her. Ah! Curse it all! But now isn't the time for regrets. It's time for you to open that door. Okay. Dong. All the regrets. Single letters. Okay. I mean, I could have gone for... Okay. I was trying to see if the, the squeaks are picked up on stream. It doesn't look like they are, which is a shame. Yeah, these little dudes. That's good. Doink. Roosh. He doesn't have enough. That's true, too. Might as well get one of these off while we can. Let's see. Nope, Ruff's just gonna kill him. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of monsters that I think you'll enjoy in here. <laughs> Called pom pom bombs. Or at least that's what they're calling DQ. Two, DQM2. <laughs> I don't know. Don't do that. There we go. So now Ruff is faster than Maribel. No, don't. Okay, I stand corrected. Doink. A leather hat. Oh no, the, the weird mantis. Oh my. Okay, that's why we have the other boomerang still. No, it only squeaks when you have it in your mouth, of course. Now we. Oh yeah, Maribel has this dagger that insta kills stuff with surprising frequency. These things don't even come after you. That's just all they do. Okay. Nothing there. Bop. Don't mind me. Don't mind. Oh no, there's more. Okay. They're not sad, they're just a little, they're just a little grumpy. A little grumpy. Oh, I still have the boomerang equipped, oops. It's because they don't want to, they don't want to attack us. Oh, we got an unexpected. Do, 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 do
Exactly. Moink. Doink. Doink. Ah, don't wake up or anything after an urn smashes you in the face. It's cool. Big crit. Big crit. Should be a rough level up. Yep. Bop. And squeak. Over here. Nope. Good spawn. about this. Okay. Oh, we're looking for the room that has our stuff. Oh, cool. Alright. Those were real treasure chests. Zoom! Oh, hi. Some forky pigs. Too stunned to move, you say? See, she just insta killed him. Nice. Easy peasy. Here, no, okay. Let's see if we can just get past him. Nice, don't mind me. Okay, I'm mean, gonna go up here. Let's get our abilities back. This be where the high priest what the high priestess was talking about. Huh? Hey oh. Wow, this feels amazing. I can feel the power flowing through me. I'm back to my old self again. Yippee, hooray! Spells and abilities stolen by the fake high priest have been restored to the party. Yay. Suddenly, the high priestess's Jacqueline's voice can be heard. It seems you have managed to recover your powers. Now you must take the path to, path to the left of you and head deeper into the abbey. Okay. I wonder if we should give the stone then to Ruff. Since he doesn't have any innate healing ability and Maribel has heal again. Okay. Oh. Okay. Seems as some of these are locked, yes. Interesting. Stop it. Oh, big crits again. Do, 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 do. 
kind of weird. Huh. Weird. Can I go backwards? No. So they're one-way doors. Those ones don't open. Okay. Learning. We're learning. What a weird way to build an abbey. Alright, those ones are only backwards. Got it. Got it, okay. Don't mind me. Okay. No. Too, didn't he? Call of the Wild. That one actually costs MP. Okay. Summons a wolf to give a howl that stops enemies in their tracks. Nice. Yeah, she likes to be there. When we're both not in the same room. Hi. I just want to be able to look at everything. <laughs> There's monsters everywhere. Toink. Hey, is that necessary? Can you just lay down? Thank you. Dig into China over there. So we've got a regular door. Can we go sideways? Looks like we can. I didn't even mean to do that, but okay. Okay. I think this one's a regular. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, that's like our third one. <laughs> Holy cow. They're pretty generous with those in this game. So I think we need to go, yeah, to the pot room. Okay, we don't need to go there. At least one urn expected in here, right? Okay, bye. Oh boy. Now she's just in the hallway. All right, 100, 100 money. More horse poop. There it is. can't use it outside battle, so might as well use it here, where it's free. Nice. Oh, or you just exploded. <laughs> Double dog hallway.
Yeah, that makes sense. That dog has attention needs that will not be met with her being in the hallway. Don't mind me. Coming through. Don't worry about it. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Thank you. Everything's fine. Leave me alone. Attention shark of the dog. Good lord. Okay. One of these is a mimic. Oh, that looked like some cursed mask is what that looked like. Jeez. Well. <laughs> there we go. All right, well, let's get rid of one of them. Then sneak behind this one. <laughs> okay, where am I going? Where am I going? Got lost. It's fine. Everything's fine. No. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Everything's fine. Cool. No. There we go. So you can't, you can't run around them, but you can run from them. Oh, okay, can't go, there we go. Wow, they got me with a stationary one. Ah, <sighs> dog, dog, dog. How do dog? Oh, whoops. Aha, we got him with the single kill or single hit. Nice. Oh, oh. There's just a tree, okay. There's another tree. Good. Again, all of this is somehow in the basement of the abbey, which I don't fully understand. How did people build this? Why did people build this? Okay, okay. Yeah, you go down there. Cool. More money, all right. It's like they're like, hey, uh, we have 3D now. Do y'all wanna do anything with that? And they're like, yeah. Yeah, we do, we do wanna do three. Oh, hi. Uh, I guess we're outside the abbey? I don't know, this is kind of strange. It did not look like this when we were here last. Maybe, we, oh, maybe we could never go, we can never come down to this floor. Uh. Welcome to All Blades Arena. Think of it as the second great test for those who've succeeded in stealing their fellow human souls. Okay, yeah, what do we have? Chain whip, eh. Broadsword, maybe. Steel fangs, maybe. Already have the cloak, although a second cloak would be good. Don't really need that. Don't really need that. Pirate's hat. No. Steel fangs is really what we want here. Yar. Put it in the bags. So that we can swap it out without having to move all of our... Um, herbs around. Yeah, we'll go ahead and equip that, but we'll leave the boomerang as before. Yeah, we do have three of those. Okay. Um, do we want the second evasion cloak? I don't think so. 
The monsters kept their promise and gave us back our spells and abilities, but now they won't let us leave the abbey. I should have known better than trust those horrible creatures. Want to know how to get out of this place? Why, yes. There's one way, and only one way. Fight it out in the arena. Win five battles in a row, and you'll get what they call the final showdown. Defeat your last opponent there, and the high priest who's running the place will let you go. That's what they say, at least. Yeah, I mean, I'll take that. Um, where did what's his dunk and the other two get off to? Alright. I'm gonna break all your pots, lady. Alright. Save. It's so nice of them to let these humans work up here and provide all of these much needed uh, services. I'll swear, oh, there he is. Damn these monsters, is there no end to their depravity? No sooner had they chased us out than they completely rebuilt the place. I was certain the good old All Trades Abbey was waiting for us on the other side of that cave, but no such luck. I've seen that warrior in action. It's truly a joy to behold. I've never seen such power or such silky sword skills. It's no wonder he managed to get the better of Strom and his thugs and steal all those souls. Uh, I can confirm. Spoiler alert. Actually, I know the answer to that because I had to build my overlays, but I guess I can not confirm or deny that suspicion. But yes, he, he does have the the space that I would reserve for Nevin. Ah, I know you. It's nice to see some familiar faces. You're, tr you're the travelers who witnessed my triumph back in Pilgrim's Perdition. Yes, it's all coming back to me. You saw that rather dramatic scene with the brother and sister. I failed to steal his soul, if you recall. Well, the drama continues. The sister is now determined to face me in the arena and avenge her brother. Does she really think she stands a chance against a hero in the making like me? What a ridiculous thought. Okay. Zev was reunited with his sister, but it was obvious he didn't like what he saw. She's a different person now. I remember how she looked after me when I had my soul stolen. Oh, she was so kind. She's not like that now. Interesting. Bop. Beep. Ooh. Oh, I know. I think we have better than that. Phew. I made it to the wall just in time. I thought I was going to wet my britches. Huh? What's that? My trousers are looking a little damp, you say. Oh, that's obviously sweat. I raced here as quick as I could, you see. To avoid any accidents, you understand. <clears throat> Uh, what? Nothing gets past me, you know. I know Nava or Nava only took up the Soul Stealer so she could avenge her brother. It's my dream to wig, win big in the arena and finally escape this place. I've got a wife and kids waiting for me at home, you know. Can't sleep at night fretting about them. Nava's getting worse and worse, you know. She never should have picked up the Soul Stealer. Ah, she was such a sweet, good-natured girl not so long ago. I wouldn't dare tell her that now. Actually, before we trigger that, I guess let's check the rest of the area out. How long can this futile contest continue? I know that deep down everyone is desperate as desperate as me to rise up and escape this place. But just the thought of the terrible consequences if we failed? Brr, no wonder we're coward and do nothing. Okay, another entrance, and this guy. Most folks who go into the arena take monsters with them instead of humans. It's sad to say, but we don't trust each other enough to join forces. Ain't no thing is trust down here. It's out here. Okay, oh, right. I know we've got weapons and we're back to full strength, but we can't just go start in a rebellion. I mean, unless the others were willing to rise up and take the place take on the monsters too, we'd just be sacrificing ourselves in vain. Pop. 
We've got weapons. We've got our powers back. I mean, what's stopping us? But no. No one's going to take up arms against the monsters. Not unless something happens to set everyone off. So you need a catalyst, you say. Mmm. You've got the promise not to breathe a word of what I tell you to anyone, okay? Yeah, sure. Well, I know the reason why the monsters wanted to steal our spells and abilities. They've got a plan to channel human power and use it to revive someone called the Demon King. But you can't let on you know about it. They're bound to find out it's me who spilled the beans, and I'll end up paying with my life. Okay, can I just leave? Oh, here's fingers. Even a master thief like me wouldn't stand a chance against that door. Looks like the only way out of here is to win the arena thingy, okay? Sad. Boom, boom. Okay, well, I guess let's go find out what's going on in sibling rivalry. Sibling rivalry. Rivalry land. Only those who have achieved victory in the arena may pass. If you wish to leave this place, I'm afraid you will have no choice but to win the tournament or perish in the attempt. Yeah, ha, ha. Okay. I'll get back to you on that. Oh, what's up here? Is this anything? Oh. What? Oh. Curse these monsters. Look at them, enjoying the sight of us humans fighting. It's just sport to them. We're not fighting for fun. We're fighting for our freedom. Have you seen the female warrior who wields the Soul Stealer? She's amazing. She can hold her own against anyone, man or beast. After I had my soul stolen back in Pilgrim's Perdition, I lost consciousness. When I came to, the monsters had brought me here. Ever since, I've been in general dog's body, taking care of whatever odd jobs need doing. Okay. Anyone who wields a soul stealer for long enough will be possessed by it. They lose their mind and eventually die in agony. You'll do well to remember that. That sword is not something anyone should rely on. It's demonic. It will destroy all it touches. Okay. Can I keep going? No. Oh, excuse me. Again. The humans fighting it out over there have all had their powers restored at the sacred altar. Use any weapon in battle and it will pick up Nick's scratches and cracks. The soul stealer is no different, except it's human souls that are being damaged. Could that be why the people who wield it become so unstable? Perhaps they're channeling the anguish of the tormented souls inside it. A lot of the fighters in the arena are victims, the people whose souls we stole to get it to get here. Some of them were lucky and managed to recover, but not all of them. When you see them slugging it out like that, you realize what a warlike species humanity really is. Okay. Now we can go get involved. Come on, sis. You know how I hate to see you wielding that sword. Why don't you hand it over? I can use it to give you your soul back. No. Don't ever think about coming clo any closer. Why don't you just leave me alone? Can't you see? I chose this fate. I wanted to fight in the arena. I was hoping someone would finally put me out of my misery. Then I could finally be free of this useless body. It's not like it's going to last long anyway. This isn't like you, sis. No matter how bad things got, you never gave in to despair before. This isn't you talking, this is that damned soul stealer. That's what's making you like this. Come on, give it to me. No, just leave me alone. I'm sick of the sight of you. Now get out of here before I steal your soul too. You don't know what you're saying. L listen to you. Clink, clink, not so fast. I wouldn't make any sudden moves if I were you. Just remember, it was Nava who chose to take up the Soul Stealer and compete in the arena. No one forced her. We only spared her life because she came out and said she wanted to do it. We thought it would be funny to watch her fight. Now, no one's going to deny us our fun. She's ours, and anyone who tries to take her will 
pay with their life. Meh. Yeah, Zeb, you suck too. Hey, I'm just here to like loot and stuff. There we go. Doink. Just remember, yeah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, sure, whatever. Ha ha! Nava has only one goal, and that's to steal the soul of the warrior who did the same to her brother. She's willing to fight all day, every day, in order to hone her skills so she can take him on. Where is the hero looking? What? My chest hurts. Leave me alone, will you? Okay. Bye-bye. Just looking at the sky. To think Nava competing in some sort of fighting contest, it beggars belief. Well, she's doing it, and that's why I have no choice but to fight too. As things are now, I'll never be able to get close to her, not with those monsters surrounding her. I see, so you plan to take the Soul Stealer from your sister in the heat of battle and use it to restore her soul, just as I did to you. Of course. And if it works, as it did before, she'll return to her old self. Excellent, I'll join you. No! How many times? I don't need your help. I can save my sister on my own. Meh. Curse that boy. He really doesn't seem to understand the gravity of the situation. This is hardly the time to be throwing tantrums. Shut up, Eustace. I'll fix this. So, humans, are you ready to challenge the arena? Not yet. I need to talk to this cat. Pitiful cowards. Well, if you don't have the guts to compete, you should at least go and watch those who do. Yee So you want to hear the rules or what? Yeah, sure. Each battle is a four-on-four -four fight to the death. Don't expect any breathing time between bouts. As soon as one finishes, the next one will start. To emerge from the arena victorious, you'll have to win six battles in a row. Slip up even once and you'll be out on your ear. Succeed and you will be granted your freedom by the ever-benevolent Cardinal Sin, true high priest of All Trades Abbey. Alright, I guess let's save and then do this. Oh gosh, we're gonna have to talk to him, aren't we? Yet another Dragon Quest VII episode where it takes 45 minutes to get to doing anything. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you're trying to get rid of the monsters who've taken over All Trades Abbey, right? Well, if you win the tournament, you'll be free to stroll right into the Abbey and take them down. And I need to take part in the tournament, too, so I can save my sister. What do you say? Fancy joining forces? I mean... As much as I hate him, Eustace is a little bit better of a... Yeah, whatever, sure. Really? You will? Thank you. We're fighting for different reasons, but we both need to win. Let's get to work. It's so long. Thank you. Alright, let's do it. Well, you have the required number of team members. You may proceed to the field of battle. Okay. We got Drax Slimes. Ladies and gentlemen and monsters, we have some fresh meat for you. Challengers, step up into the arena. Introducing Monarch and his band of brave companions. Now, let battle commence. Oh, what? That's not what he looked like. Numpton. Um, yeah, we probably do want our boomerang here. We'll just have you defend. Fuzzy Numpkins with his banjo. Let's keep defending. And then we will re equip the steel fangs. 
go to abilities and use Sikkim because that one doesn't have damage decay. It is Fuzzy Lumpkins, yeah. Owie! There we go. Nope, don't use it. You need to equip it. Keep defending. Heal. Well, that's why we do the thing. Oh, whoops. Sad. Well, I guess we'll be here forever. See y'all in three years. That's fine. Can we like see again? No? Alright. That wasn't too bad. God, Dazzle is so good for the opponent in this game. It lasts forever. There we go. Oh, just Zeb is undazzled. Cool. And the winner is Monarch and Company. Now, if the next challengers would care to step forward. Let the second battle commence. Gosh, they're cute. Bronson and some serial quillers. Ah. Yeah, so let's hit them all. Just go ahead and hit everybody like this. Doink. Nice. 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 And I should take care of the last one. Very good. A nimble flip. It's kind of annoying to have to micromanage their um, inventory like this, but whatever. Small edges, right? Ow! Excuse you. It's quite large and it does a lot of damage. My, what big shield you have. I guess we could use a, a sap on him. Good dodge. Thank you, Cloak of Evasion. Nice. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the Goop Troop. <laughs> Hans and his hands. All right, back to the boomerang. Attack. Bang. Oh, wait, no, we want to stick with the fangs. And use Sikkim. Nice crit. Oh, good. He's enough. Boink. Okay. Attack. Sap. Nice crit. That's two in a row. Owie. Okay, that was more damage than I was willing to accept. There, okay. Well, you see, Zev, that kind of is an inconvenience. Because now we're going in kind of hurt. Halfway through. Kissy kissy. Wyatt. It's, I don't like that. <laughs> Still, we're just gonna try and uh, damage them down, and then we'll worry about healing. Oh, he gets to go twice. Oh no! Oh, thank God. We do not have any of our Idrisil leaves uh, with us, so. Defend. Oh my god. Dude, this guy needs to chill out. Actually, let's just use an herb. Okay. Thank you. Okay. All right, now you get to attack again. Let's see, you're on broadsword. You don't have any abilities, do you? I don't think so. I don't want to take time off with Monarch to to heal or to, to buff more. I just need to kill this guy and try and stay ahead of the damage. Ow. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Cheese. Can you stop doubling up like that, man? He 
He's dead. God dang it. It's so frustrating. Bell and company now. So that was four. Man, I really don't want to have to redo this. This is five. this dude's name? Bagley? It does very much look like Nabbit, doesn't it? Oh, okay. Can put people to sleep. Cool. What do you, what do we have here? I'll try this. It's just so much dazzling. <laughs> so annoying. And it lasts for so long. That's the other thing. It's like, he's attacking using summons. Like, why are the summons affected by his accuracy? Oh, God. Well, that's not great. Oh. Didn't even mean to attack with it. I just clicked through it because I'm used to having Maribel up. Nice crit. Alright. So far, Maribel's team have left all comers in the dust. Now it's time for the real entertainment to begin. It's the last step on the road to freedom. The final showdown. Would the sixth team of contenders please step forward? Gasp. Oh, there's no Armorpion with her. Okay. Final battle. I'd... Zev. So even my own brother wants to kill me now. Good. Chomp chomp. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Everyone's out to get me these days. Sis, you're not in your right mind. It's that damned sword. But don't be afraid. I'm gonna save you. Just wait and see. Ben -na -na. Does she have her own model? She does. Okay, um, oh, man. I have to go for a, a bang to try and get these guys off the board, but I have a real feeling that she's gonna let, be left hurt. Yeah, yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Okay, this might be enough. Thank God, okay, okay. Defend, we'll use an herb. Buff is good. Crackle. Oh no. Okay. Jeez. The crackle does a lot of damage. I was really hoping you would heal. Okay. That was huge. The dodge there was huge. Okay. Um. No, I, th I think we have to heal. 
we just gotta get. Oh man, that's rough. Alright, let's just burn through those. Maybe she'll run out of MP. <laughs> Ow. Okay. I think that preserves the herb. Hi, little one. There's nothing in that trash can for you. Nyx. Um, okay. Alright, let's try to get you. So let's see, did that preserve it? It did. Okay. Bang. That's great. Keep attacking him. Cool. Uh. Okay. I'm gonna try that one more. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm gonna heal. Yeah, that's why. Okay, I'm just gonna try and stay ahead of it. Owie. Yeah, I guess we should have kept the Salvation Stone on Maribel. We gave up a lot of damage. That was a good crit, though. Thank you. Gave up a lot of damage to be able to have Rough have it. I think she's out of Crackles, which is nice. That doesn't mean we can sit and not heal. Owie. Owie. Double crits. Thank you. Good Zev actually pulling his weight. Should be rough. Yep. Phew. Managed to do it without Mark. Oh, I stand corrected. And his sword is gone. Could work, Monarch. Now all we need to do, or now all I need to do is grab the Soul Steel and we can save Nava. But yeah, just announce your plan in front of the stupid ref. Oh, soul of my sister, return to your rightful home. I. You'll be back to yourself now, Nava. You'll be safe. If it worked for me, it has to work for you too, right? And the winner is Monarch and Company. As a reward for striking down every single set of challengers placed in front of them, our intrepid competitors are now free to leave All Trades Abbey. Congratulations. <laughs> if you would like to follow me, I will lead you to the winner's portal. Wait, not yet. What about my sister? No, no, no. I'm afraid it is not of your concern. You must leave the arena and make your way for the next challengers. But... <laughs> Everybody's like, alright, whatever. Hey, I beat up some of those people. Yeah, okay, bye. Bye, Eustace, you worthless lump. Eustace! Please, I beg of you, you have to save my sister. Leave it to me. Shut up, Eustace. Get him fingers. Just give him the old backstabberuski. Okay, we're done. Good 
This dude's definitely just gonna attack us, right? Like, what is the matter? Why have you stopped? You must continue walking. Well, Monarch, I suppose this is goodbye. Thank you for all. Thank you all for fighting alongside me. I couldn't have done it without you. I have to head back to the arena. I have to help Nava. Good luck out there. You don't need to worry any more about us, though. You've done enough. Punk. <laughs> Lol. Do not let him get away. After him. <laughs> Okay. One moment, if you would. Oh. How'd you get up here? Who let you through? Yeah, right? I guess because we're heroes or something. I don't know. My apologies. I did not mean to alarm you. I take it you remember me. I'm Jacqueline, the High Priestess of All Trades Abbey. Yes. I've come to join forces with you in the fight against the imposter who usurped me. It would not befit one of my position to cower in a corner and allow others to do my fighting for me. Oh, why do the guards care? I don't know. Probably because he messed it up and like did it wrong and actually murdered her. I don't know. Who, knew? Who knows? Maybe she's just going to be a new monster. In the name of all my illustrious forebears, I must fight alongside you and rid this place of evil. High Priestess Jacqueline joins the party. Okay. I can't with these pilgrim dudes behind her. Their block freakish ears. Her grace speaks very highly of your talents. I have every faith that you can knock that imposter's block off. <gasps> An email. We understand that a revolt against the monsters is in full swing in the arena. We have been stationed here to mop up any monsters who try to make a break for it. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, we gotta fill some... Oh, we don't have much to fill in. Okay. Well. I guess we're doing this. Oh, nice. We do have a few more. Cool. Oh, it healed us up. Nice. Can we go back? Wow. It's all over for you, miserable humans. The Almighty's not going to save you now. Oh, okay, okay, I guess. Uh, do I have... Yep. Get him, I guess. Okay. Come on, then. Give it your best shot, monster boys. Us humans ain't such pushovers now, are we? We've got a long list of grudges against you lot as long as your arm. It's high time we paid you back. You really think pathetic weaklings like you stand a chance against us? You have spirit, if nothing else. We will not forgive you for this insolence. You will rue the day you picked a fight with us. Oh. I wanted to fight that weirdo, though. I'm struggling here. Come on, you lot. Don't just stand there. Are you going to help me or what? Yeah, sure. A slime night. Boink. Donk. Blap. Cloak of evasion. Alright, now what are you going to give me? Phew, thanks for that. I thought I was a goner for a second there. Wow. We finally decided to stand up and be counted in the fight for freedom. We'd be grateful for any assistance you could offer. Some of us seem to be struggling a little. It really seems like I could have just left, though, right? Like, it's not too late, humans. Abandon this feudal revolt and things can return to the way they were. I'm not afraid to lose my life, and I would rather die than live under the yoke of the monster's oppression. I am fighting for all my comrades who lost their lives. If I can take even one monster to hell with me, then this will all have been worth it. Okay. I will not help you then, since you did not request help. 
Nava was just about to be executed when a hero came to the rescue and triggered what can only be called a rebellion. Exciting stuff. Who do you miserable humans think you are? How dare you rise up against your masters? Oh, what is this guy? A bat boon. Interesting. Get him. Bop. Blap. Boink. Oh, okay. We owe a lot to that warrior who came to Nava's rescue. He gave us the courage to stand up to these horrible monsters. Come on, have a go, you filthy cowards. Listen to me, human. This is futile. You don't want to, s or you don't stand a chance, a hope in hell of winning. Save your fighting for the arena. Ah, I wish I was a fighter. If we were going to die, I would take as many monsters with me as I can. I've been standing here telling people that there are too many monsters in there and that they shouldn't go in. But would Nava and her brother listen? No, they just charge straight in. Oh, what's going to happen to them? Okay, so that's where we got to go. Oh, this dude's dead. There's no response. He appears to have breathed his last. This warrior laid down his life to protect me. He is a true hero. What was that noise? I just heard like a squeaking... Come from down the hall. That was quite strange. Who do you miserable humans think you are? How dare you rise up against your masters? Meh! Boink. Wow. Yeah. Oh, he dead. Wow. I knew this day would come. I hope you have time to join me in prayer before joining the fray. Yeah, sure. We have a lot of money now, at least. I guess that's actually not a lot of money compared to how much things cost now. Yep. Yeah, prepare for the end. I'm going to send your stony corpse flying right out of the arena. Oh, hold on. There's no need to be hasty. Can't we discuss this? I'll give you something nice. It's all over for you miserable humans. The Almighty's not going to save you now. Get him. Well, that seems like overkill, but okay. Her regular attack does just as much damage. We can't take it any longer. You'll pay for treating us as your playthings. Cease this senseless resistance. Cease this senseless resistance. Even if you defeat us, you'll never leave this place alive. It's all over. Man. She must be very fast. Holy cow. Such insolence, such insubordination. How dare these humans behave like this? If only we hadn't tried to execute the female warrior after she was defeated in the arena, we'd never be in this pickle. I mean, true. Okay, that guy didn't want to talk to me. Didn't want to talk to me. Right. Please, game? Come on, you can do it. Do, 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 Come on, you miserable monsters. We'll give you what for. I can fight just as bravely as the man who saved the female warrior. Honest, I can. Okay. We'll make you regret ever picking a fight with us mighty monsters. Gulain, that's really not... Really not befitting of you. Oh, speaking of... I got a new one. Boop, 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 boop. So now I have big slime and little slime. Boop. Almost have a full slime stack. I still can't quite believe what I saw. Seeing that warrior in full flow made me feel a bit dizzy. It looked like it was curtains for Nava, but the fellow appeared and took them all took them all on by himself. 
Slime stack. We'll get to those in DQ9. Yeah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. You make me look bad. Okay, I think we have done all that we can for these folks. He's dead. There's a warrior I've never seen before fighting next door. A right heroic sort he is. He kicked the door open and burst in here with Nava in his arms, a big show off. Love to give him an I'd love to give him a hand. And hand okay. A hand, but I've given all I can. The rest is up to you. We owe you monsters one, you know. All those skirmishes in the real event arena have really honed our fighting skills. Allow me to demonstrate. You human wretches should know your place. You have no business to not disobeying your monster superiors. Leave things down here to Zeb and me. You need to head up to the abbey and strike at the heart of the problem. Right, but okay. So other than the experience, there's literally no reason to come back down here. Weird. What a strange sequence. Um, yeah, at this point I did murder everyone. Hi, Zero. How are you? Doing. Is there anywhere? Door appears to be locked from the other side. Okay, fine. Guess let's go this way. Okay. Can I just. Just want to leave without fighting anyone else. Just turn around. Just turn around. Thank you. Aha! Oh, weird, there's a save point. That was the biggest chimera I've seen. <laughs> Good lord. Man, she's not messing around. Can we keep her in the party the whole time? Okay, I guess I'm not saving here. Come now, friend. Surely the experience you have gained in combat is reward enough. Surely the journey of self-discovery has given you ample freedom. Don't give me that mumbo-jumbo. I want real freedom. I won your stupid arena challenge fair and square. Now let me leave. As you wish, you will be permitted to leave. Or rather, your corpse will. Oh, he's just super dead. Okay. <laughs> Seems I got a little carried away. There won't even be a corpse to dispose of this time. Right, but like, could I leave? No, okay. Um. Yeah, I mean, guess we're doing this. <laughs> High Priestess, what an honor. But you are too late. The power required to bring our master back to strength has already been gathered. We have no more need of your precious human supplicants and their so-called skills. The power reaped from the desperation of the combatants in our little arena proved far more potent than we had imagined. But do not think that you will be allowed to leave this place. You and your kind have outlived your usefulness. As such, you will be disposed of. All of you. <laughs> Oh, okay. That's... That's a character design, alright. What's going on with his staff? There's a goofy little guy holding a ball. Okay. Um, do I want... I don't really want to waste my time buffing. Unless he shows me a need to do it. 
Alright, let's try this again. Doink. What is the point of that attack then? Oh, some real cool person. Oh, we have mid heal? Okay. I'll at least do a couple buffs. Attack or defend. Yeah, Flame Slash is fine. One more. Yeah, because if he does that thing again, it will kill the. It will kill Ruff. Okay, that's fine. We're not attacking you with spells. Nice. Crit. Just trying to keep everybody above 80 HP if we can. Ow. Yeah, now would be a great time. So we already lost the buff, jeez. Okay. That'll be a great time if you wanted to break out a big heal there, Priestess Lady. Okay. Trying to decide if I care about that. I don't, I guess. <laughs> I guess that kind of balances out Monarch being dead for all those fights, though. Thanks to Monarch and his companions, the monster's plan to channel the power drained from humans to their master, the mighty demon king, ends in failure. Did it, though? It seemed like they succeeded. The priests and guards of all trades, freed from captivity at last, flood back into the abbey and drive out all the interlopers. With the monsters gone, the abbey begins to recover its familiar atmosphere and energy. Then, a few days later... Okay. Deary, deary me, will the princess ever grow up and stop trying to give her poor parents a heart attack every five minutes? It's so unfair. I was born to wear those adorable furry ears. Well, if I can't be a bunny girl and I don't want to be anything, I'm never ever going back to my stupid kingdom ever again. Huh. All right. We need to fill our inventory back up. With everyone having left town, there was no sense of keeping the bank over in Pilgrim's Perdition open. Phew. Thank you. I'm 
Now I'm wondering what my next career move should be. Oh no, I just remembered I left behind that strange stone object one of our customers left with us for safekeeping. Oh well, they never came back to collect it. I don't expect it'll be in many unsavorably sorts snooping around the place. It's probably just fine staying there. That's right, there's a fragment back there we need to go get. So we're fully healed. And you're sure you have no regrets, even after having been through so much to fulfill your dream of working here? Nah, I decided it ain't for me, mate. Uh, a common thief ain't got no business working for a big, posh old place like this. It's all for the opportunity and all, but I ain't cut out for the old elite bodyguard game. Well, I for one will be sad to see you go. Don't give me that. You never wanted me working here in the first place. You think I couldn't tell? No, I, uh, that is, um, I, listen, I know when it's time for me to sling, me, to sling my hook, and it's been nice knowing you and your mates, Monarch. Be lucky, eh? Ah, take care, Eustace. Oh, and give my regards to the, that Zev bloke and his sister, won't you? Goodbye. Of herbs. Put the remaining ones in your bag. Yep. Okay. Coagulant is three hundred gold. That's insane. Okay. We've only just chased the monsters out, but things are already getting back to the way they were. It won't be long before we're run off our feet, just... It won't be long before we're run off our feet, just like in the good old days. I know. That's a good thing, I guess. Like, they're busy. Ah, it's great to be back to doing this again. We're not gonna let any rotten monsters pull a stunt like that ever again. No. Books. No. Books. I spent ages researching ways to change my vocation, become a hero with minimal effort. Sadly, it doesn't look like I'm going to be finding a shortcut to save your status anytime soon. It's an etching of Jacqueline, High Priestess of Altrade's Abbey. Weird, okay. I heard that the powers that be are planning on hiring scores of new guards to boost the Abbey's defenses. I suppose we did leave ourselves rather vulnerable by relying on such a small force to protect us. Priest Diary. The monsters have breached our defenses. It is only a matter of time before they overrun us. But whatever happens, we must not allow them to get their hands on the High Priestess. I would offend her with my life if necessary. Okay. What you got, lady? Uh, nothing good. Oh, hi, Zev. Ah, there you are. You can be the first to congratulate me on my new job. I've just become a warrior. So what do you think? I'm looking rather tougher already, right? My sister will be impressed. I just know she will. Well, anyway, no time to chat. See you around. Nah. Yeah, man, I just want to see what you have. Mallet, nobody can use. I wonder if we pick up the ability to use... Oh, wait, no. What's his dunk? Uh, Kiefer used that. Wizard staff, though. It casts Frizz, I think? Zev's new armor looked really shiny. It was so clean you eat dinner off of it. Hey, Monarch, will you buy me some armor like that and some dinner? No, man. No. All these poor folks who got done over by the fake high priest are still alive, ain't they? Uh, no. Don't give me that. I'm not as gullible as I look, you know. I know those poor folks had their powers pinched, but I made sure to find out the monsters didn't kill them, so there. Okay. Sure seemed like that one dude died. He got lit on fire real bad. To think, I didn't have the first clue monsters had captured Altrade's Abbey. I mean, it was pretty obvious, man. It's pretty obvious. Just saying. There's so many different vocations out there. How is anyone supposed to make up their mind? 
I don't know, I'm gonna save. We're gonna get some vocations, and then we're gonna go get these fragments, because we desperately need more fragments. I wonder if that counts as liberating this area too. I sure do. How are we doing on time? Got 30 minutes? Nice. Plenty of time. So we can go down another floor. You know the high priestess here was just a little girl? I wondered about changing my job now. How can I be really sure she knows what she's doing, eh? There's no need to be job to get the job changing jitters, you know. Even if you switch vocations, you're not going back to level 1 or anything. Oh no, you put that thought right out of your head. So if you've got a lot of adventuring ahead of you, you might as well try your hand at a career of some kind. Do you know why those monsters were stealing people's powers? Yes, I do. Oh, you do, do you? My word, news travels fast. Guys. So what do you think, sis? I suit being a warrior, wouldn't you say? I know it might be dangerous, but I'm going to fight hard, make money, and do all that I can to cure your illness. No, I can't let you put yourself in danger. What if you get hurt? I'm not going to. I'm a lot tougher than you think, okay? I'm only going to get tougher. I already, I'm already tougher than that Eustace, so you won't need to rely on him anymore. From now on, anything you want, just ask me. Stop it. Just stop it. It's too much. What makes you think I want people going out of their way to help me all the time? Stop making a martyr of yourself for my sake. I'm not being a martyr. I'm your brother. I love you. I just want to, what's best for you, that's all. It's too much, don't you see? You always make me feel like I'm a burden that you have to carry. Can't you see how difficult that makes things for me? Sometimes I almost wish you weren't here trying to look after me all the time. Woof. Oh, I get it. So you're trying to tell me that I'm the burden. Huh. Fine. These two need therapy. Where are you going? I'm going to buy a sword, alright? A warrior needs a sword, doesn't he? Yeah, you did this. I'm sorry, but I don't want to speak to anyone right now. Okay. Bye. Look at all these people. This book gives access to the most advanced vocations, but they are only available to those who have mastered ev more everyday forms of employment first. Do you wish to read it? Yeah, sure. Okay, so all the same stuff as before. Oh, yeah. What is champion? That one's new. Gladiator and paladin. Armed and unarmed. Weird. And Druid is above Sage and Luminary. Okay, interesting. So, yeah, whatever, we'll figure it out. Uh, be aware that it's different with more advanced vocations, the ones that can only be accessed after honing your skills in a basic vocation. In case of these particular jobs, there are spells and abilities that can only be used while you're following that career path. Okay, that's fine. Uh, no. Oh, well, come again. So we need to go down a level to get the fragment. A warm welcome to All Trades Abbey. Okay, yeah. I am just trying to do stuff. So you're leaving Nava behind? It's clear that I'm only going to cause her be causing her trouble if I hang around here. It's better this way. I'll be happy to look after her in your stead, but I need to know that I have your blessing. Why? Shut up, Eustace. You suck. Look, this is between you and my sister. It's none of my business. I... I see. Well, good luck on your journey. Thanks. Look after her, okay? Boo! You suck. Both of y'all suck. Human beings are remarkable creatures. Through hard work and perseverance, they can discover abilities they never knew they had. Why, for all we know, one of our visitors could one day find a vocation here that would enable them to save the world. Huh. Now that I think about it, that must be the reason the Demon King sealed this island off from the others in the first place. I guess we did fix that. If not for your courage and commitment, all trades Abbey would still be in the hands of monsters. 
Now that we have all trades back, we are fortifying our defenses so that this can never happen again. I know some believers, some believe that this fate befell us because a mere child was serving as high priestess, which makes it imperative that I do all that I can to ensure our enemies never view us as an easy target. In any case, you have my heartfelt gratitude, but I am sure you did not come here for idle chat. You stand in the hallowed halls of Altrade's Abbey where those seeking fresh beginnings may embark on a new journey in life. Do you or one of your number wish to change vocation? Yes. Okay, so we want to send her towards Luminary or Sage. So that would be like, yikes. Woof. Um, man, I guess, I guess mage. So we can do mage priest and then she can do sage or we can do dancer and troubadour is luminary. Yeah, we need more spells. Just do mage. That is a hideous pink. Oof. Yeah. So rough, clearly suited to martial artist. Um, <laughs> priest is kind of funny. Thief might work too. Makes him a little bit faster. I'm not sure why you would ever have Sailor. Let's see, Martial Artist is pretty much the same. Yeah, let's do Martial Artist. We're not going to be trying to get cute here. Okay. Yep. Kind of tempted to do priest just so we can get some spells, but it really hurts our damage output. Oof, that one's so bad. Um. I am kind of curious about the sailor, but no, we're just gonna do priest. We'll eat, we'll eat our vegetables first, which I know is rich coming from me. Also, cleric is just such a better word than priest. Okay, so we need to go back to Pilgrim's Perdition and pick up that, that tablet, but there should be one down here as well. Ooh, prayer ring, very nice. Money. Well, the one piece of good news about the monsters' sojourn here in the Abbey is they did not think to change the decor. I would have hated to come back here and find carvings of the Demon King or anything awful like that. Yeah. Come on. There we go. If any monsters even think about coming back here, I'm going to pick up a sword and fight them off myself. This does not do much damage at all. Okay. Mini metal. Yeah, that, 
that did not really hurt us that much. All Trades Abbey is really, really big. It makes my house look really small and rubbish. I mean, yes. This is no good. Those monsters have gone and kept the whole place spick and span. I was hoping there'd be all manner of odd jobs that needed doing, but no such luck. Okay, it's a weird thing to be upset about. A ledger. It contains a list of every priest who works at All Trades Abbey, along with the marks out of ten in a range of categories. <laughs> okay. As a reward for rescuing the High Priestess, Eustace has been promoted to commander of her personal guard. I'll just have to get used to taking orders from yet another person much younger than me, I suppose. Younger than I. Nice. All right. Yellow fragment. And then I think it's a blue one we have to go get. Hopefully, again, we can just zoom there. But I really don't want to have to run back all the way. Oh, we can just... My goodness, okay, yeah, let's just... Oh, it looks like we can just walk there, cool. Yeah. I forgot we can't zoom in the past. Sizz and poof. Why is the camera so close to me? Stayed here, okay. Weird. Um, that was the bank, I think. The monsters may not be controlling the town no more, but there's still plenty of them wandering around outside. Taking your life in your own hands, just getting to All Trades Abbey, you know. I guess. Have you heard the news? Apparently, All Trades Abbey has been taken back from the monsters, which means things are starting to get pretty quiet around here. Not a day goes by without someone leaving. Yeah, because this place sucks. I guess let's talk to this idiot. Really? Still no dinner? Honestly. Oh, I keep forgetting that the maid and everyone else cleared off. Oh, right. I, I did open this. Open. Open. That thing's still broken. I don't care what anyone says, I like this place. But now someone's gone and meddled with things and it's all changed. When the monsters were around, I was number one. Top dog, king of the hill. Her hat's fine, just the rest of the outfit is something else. But it's all over now. Oh well, I suppose I'll fade into obscurity along with the town that we worked so hard to build. Alright. It's a real go-getter of an attitude right there, bud. Cool. 
Alright. A lot of yellow fragments now. Hopefully we're not going to have to go to the past every time we want to change jobs in the future. It seems like we've secured all trades' position in the present. Let's see, we just need to run back to the shrine. I'm incentivized to fight these guys because now I want to level up. Now that we've got the monsters out of All Trades Abbey, everything's gonna be fine around here, right? I mean, it's the implication. I did. Can't you see our goofy hats? Decided not to get too cute with it and just do some basic job mastering first. Yeah, I put him on a uh, martial artist because it just seemed like the most fitting one for him right now. Yep, that's where we're going with her. I was I was torn between Sage and uh, Luminary. Because I figure she's going to end up a druid, but yeah, we're going to start working towards Sage first. Hero, I went Cleric, which I think is on the prereq for Paladin. I just want better healing, honestly. Hustle is quite good. Alright, so let's go see all trades in the present. All trades is south of here, okay? Do, 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 do. Might as well get our free in. Excuse me, thank you. Look, Ma, we got jobs. Yeah, I noticed the, th the third tier of, of jobs. Yeah. I'm sure there's a, a place like Swanstone too where it doesn't have the job cap on it. What's this other one? Death Cargo. Yeah, there was some lady in the in the Abbey who was talking about that where you have to have the the tier two class active to to be able to have access to its stuff. All right, so let's go check the this thing first. I 
You don't see them anymore, but you used to find monsters roaming around these parts once upon a time. I'm so thankful I was born into a lovely, peaceful, monster-free era. Yeah, I have a feeling that's not going to last too much longer, lady. Once you leave the inn here, the next stop on the road is All Trades Abbey. I'm wondering what vocation to try next. Oh, I do love pondering all the possibilities. Okay, looks like we, we're going to need to come from the south if we want to try and go to the old town. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's just get all the tier 1 stuff out of the way. Because they go the fastest. Take your plan on heading over? I mean, I guess. Well, in that case, please be careful. There have been numerous sightings of mountain bandits recently. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Hey, free chest. Boo. Uh, yes. Okay. Pretty sure we already have that. No. Helmets. Mountain bandits. Bandage Smandits. I'm not scared of a bunch of stupid thieves. But maybe I'll wait a while before heading off to Altrades. Better be safe than sorry after all that. Seed of Resilient Reeks. Oh, so this just lets us... Heck yeah. Okay. I'm trying to remember if there were... I'm sure there were. I'm trying to remember where they are. The locked treasure chests. Okay, just books. No books. No books. There have been more and more tales of travelers having their valuables stolen by marauding bandits. Just the thought of running into them terrifies me. That's why I'm staying here for now. Glug, glug, glug. Ah, don't look at me like that. What else is a mercenary to do when things are so nice and peaceful? Without any work to keep me busy, I have no choice but to keep knocking back drinks. Maybe it's time for a career change. There have always been these been bandits in these mountains, you know. It's not a recent thing. People are getting too worked up about it, if you ask me. I mean, if they think bandits are so bad, how would they have fared when this place was crawling with man eating monsters? To the east of here is a little island known as La Bravoure. I heard there was a fellow over there who f lends out his flying carpet free of charge. Well, I went over there and asked him if I could have a go on it, but he said I was too old. How do you like that? Ooh, new means of traversal? God, so it was 8 to the first DQ in, like, forever where they don't have a flying carpet? Jeez. I didn't realize that was such a staple of the series until I started playing all of these. Okay, so we're not going to go deal with the bandits just yet. We're just, we're going to go around, we're going to hit the southern point, and we're going to go to Flying Carpet Man after we look for treasure chests. Doop -a -doop, doop, 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 doop. Okay, no tea treasures. Still have that phantom location way out in the north waters. Oh, it's a whole town. Okay. Interesting. La Bravo. 
Bienvenue à la bravoure. Welcome to the home of the descendants of the Order, chosen warriors of the Almighty himself. Long ago, these courageous men fought alongside the greatest of all heroes against the evil demon king. Neat. The great-great-great-great-grandfather of our leader, Honoré, was a very great man. Il était vraiment magnifique. Magnifique. He was a very cool. He was a member of the mighty legion who fought with the legendary hero against the most evil force in the whole world. The Holy Order of the Almighty were our ancestors. They were charged with the vital task of protecting the so-called Flying Stone. Our ancestors have aided the Demon King by soaring freely through the sky in a shrine powered by this Flying Stone. But the shrine was attacked by the Demon King's forces and crashed to the ground. It is said that some descendants of the survivors continue to roam the Earth. Okay. Another tablet fragment here. For many generations, the family of our leader, Honoré, has had a flying carpet in, his, in its possession. For whatever reason, Honoré is always giving the carpet out to every voyager who comes through La Bravoure. There's a little girl over there. And there's a little pit house, okay? C'est incroyable. Incredible. Did you know that the, our ancestors flew through the air in these amazing shrines? But then one day, the Flying Stone lost its power and they crashed into the ground. Boom! My grandfather told me that some of the survivors built this village, but how does Grandpa know this? It's a question. Just before he was defeated, the Almighty managed to seal away a mighty hero in place beyond the Demon King's reach, or so the legend goes. Perhaps the Almighty knew he could not win and used the last of his powers to safeguard the future of the world. They say that the Almighty somehow sealed away the mightiest hero in the whole world in order to protect all of our futures. That doesn't make any sense, but okay. I do not know where this hero is, but probably he is patiently waiting for the day when he will be revived. Uh-oh, well-wisher. I roll. Look, you're gonna tell all these people didn't know this thing was here? Come on. Wow, 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 wow. Rude. The well wisher? Nah. We've, that was okay. Never mind. That was kind of fun. We've seen these things before, though. All right. Whenever y'all want to wake up. Okay. Yeah. Whenever y'all want to wake up. Okay. There we go. Get him. Stop it. I'm gonna try it again. Keep using it until it works, maybe. Or not. That was weird. Ow. Clearly, I'm... <sighs> Ouch! Oh, there we go. Jeez. Tablet, 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 tablet. 
Hamlet, 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 Hamlet. Okay, uh, maybe we should go rest. <laughs> Maybe Abraham Lincoln had it coming. Ooh, captain's coat. That sounds good. garish garb. Alright, we'll finish exploring this town and we'll save the night. Ah, bonjour. Did you come to pay a visit to Honoré? Quel dommage. What a shame. I'm afraid you've just missed him. These people say one thing and then say the same thing in a different language. Like, I mean, I get it, but if you want to speak in French, just speak in French. And if you want to speak in English, just speak in English. You don't have to repeat everything. He said he was going for a drink, but perhaps he's still at the tavern? Okay, I will not remember that in a week. The Hunt for the Hidden Treasure Countless precious treasure sank to the ocean floor along with that doomed city, but the mermaid moon was not among them. As the city began to sink, it was carried safely to dry land, where presumably it still remains. Okay, that sounds fun. Mermaid moon! Ah, oh, cool. Whoopee. Alright. Let's go here. Tresor de nos ancestres, the treasure of our ancestors, is still here in La Bravoure. For countless generations, this treasure trove has been looked after by the family of the Honoré. Okay. Again, you just repeated the same thing. Many moons ago, Honoré's father allowed me to ride on the magic carpet. Kelvis Vitis. Such swiftness. On it, one could fly through the sky so fast. Ah, c'était splendide. I would so love to have that, that experience once more before I die. See, she didn't do it the second time. Hundred Heroes. The hundred mighty warriors chosen by the Almighty stood bravely against the Demon King, but though they gave their all, one by one they fell until only a single steadfast knight remained. No one knows what became of him. When the Almighty himself was defeated, the courageous, the courageous knight simply disappeared. Okay. Kitty! Meow, meow. The French version. Yeah, that one. Local shop, local shop, got an assassin dagger. Tortoise shell, a white shield, a magic shield. Magic shield's nice to have. Can't afford it, so we're just gonna say no. Not where I meant to go. Écoutez, Honoré, listen. C'est évident that this hero will not awaken because we have no need of him. It is obvious, non? The world is at peace. Non, non, non. You are completely mistaken. Completely. The Almighty was 
concerned for our future. He is worried that the Demon King would one day return and control the world. That is why he sealed away this hero. He wished to give us some hope, some assurance, some light in the darkness. Do you see what this means? We will never have true peace until we've awoken the hero, for only then will the Demon King be vanquished. <laughs> no, that is not the way. Le monde est en paix. The world is at peace right now. Why not leave it this way, huh? C'est absurd. You are talking nonsense. Everyone in La Bravoure thinks the same. You can try to force that magic carpet on me as much as you like, but I refuse to search for this stupid hero of yours. Boff. That's not a word. <laughs> I'm gonna take my harp elsewhere. Hello. If Honoré really wishes to search for this hero, he should go do it himself. Son père est mort. His father is gone. And now, no one will stand in his way. I do not understand Honoré. Why is he so obsessed with our ancestors? The olden days may have been bad, mais tout va, mais tout va bien maintenant. All is well now. We have nothing to worry about. Make a wish. This building is being used as a church, but really it is the treasure house of the family of Honoré. His family are kind enough to allow everyone to use this part of the building. Oh, a black robed nun. Interesting. Okay. Alright, let's save and we'll call it a day there. We have mountain bandits and this flying carpet to investigate next time we come back. We will be back tomorrow with more Pokemon Quarantine Crystal. We have Kanto to go to there. Um, and yeah, back to our regular schedule finally, as far as I know. But until then, dude, Maribel just like pouting at the camera. Just don't, don't look at her. Don't look at her. Anyway, get some rest, everybody. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.